Hi, and welcome to another edition of Your Health with Dr. Christie. My name is Dr. Christy Reisinger, and today I'd like to talk to everyone out there who has lost their sense of smell from COVID-19. There was a really interesting article in the Journal of the American Medical Association, or JAMA. We know that a symptom of COVID-19 can be the sudden loss of smell and taste. We think that's due in part because COVID-19 enters the nose through the ACE2 receptors that are found in that area. And it's likely that the loss of smell is also causing a loss of taste. We don't think that there's also an infection within the taste buds. We simply think that because people are losing their sense of smell, they're also losing their sense of taste because those are so closely interconnected. We're more frequently seeing the loss of the sense of smell in younger patients and in women. And unpublished data and anecdotal reports mainly state that about after two weeks, your sense of smell will usually return. Well, what can be done for patients whose sense of smell has not returned, or it's during that two week period of time and they'd like to do something to try to help get their sense of smell back? Well, there's something called olfactory training, and I'd like to explain how to do this at home. It's very easy, low cost, there's no risk, and it's very simple to do. It consists of gathering four different smells. The most common include lemon, eucalyptus, rose, and cloves. You can do that a variety of ways, but most commonly people use essential oils. For 20 seconds, at least twice a day, you're to sniff these different smells. You should do that for at least three months or for longer if necessary. I would recommend that the moment that your sense of smell is lost, you should start doing olfactory training. The hope is that as you retrain the connection between the nose and the brain, your sense of smell will return. Studies have shown an improved sense of smell after olfactory training. And as I mentioned, it's very low cost and there are no risks. So why not go ahead and just do it? I'll put the link to this interesting article in my description. And if you want more information, you can go to the article directly. Thanks again for joining me.